Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today covering today the trademark about the Cybertruck in China. Really good news and the Model S Plate Plus and we will look into the Tesla Energy and if you do enjoy that do subscribe to my channel. We will start here with the Twitter from the Ray for Tesla account which is uh, showing us here that Tesla made a trademark in China for the Cybertruck on the May 18th. So what do we have to think about that? Yes, there are two possibilities in my personal opinion and you can share your opinion as always down below in the comments. First, they just want to protect the design of the Cybertruck. They want to be sure in China that there's no other um, car company or no other startup trying to get close to the design of the Cybertruck. So that is one possibility. The other possibility in my opinion is that Tesla is working so good in China when it comes to ramping up production and we do know that the Model Y numbers are great. And here's another example by the way, they use the name Sai Car, which literally means racing truck. So that's another hint here. Um, so let's see if Elon Musk is saying anything to that. But back to my point here. If Tesla is really thinking about making a made in China Cybertruck, it could actually make a they could actually make a really smart move here. First of all, the Cybertruck right now might be way too big for the Chinese market. And as we know, it might be as well too big for people in the uh, European market. So like a made in China Cybertruck that fits the Chinese market and the European market, like the Model 2 or however it's going to be called at some point, which is going to be a made in China car too. These could be some possibilities here. We do know that the Chinese are not these truck people like in the US. And I believe that it might as well be a hint that in the United States, they believe that for the next few years, the demand for the Cybertruck will be that big that there is no chance to export or bring the Cybertruck somewhere else. And if we look at Giga Shanghai here, we do know the Model 3 is ramping up, the Model Y is ramping up. And then after that, what's going to happen? What's, what is next here? And what was next? What we all thought could be the Model 2, like a smaller version, which makes a lot of sense. But I mean, come on, they could literally try to implement a Cybertruck production line here in Giga Shanghai if they really wanted to. So again, guys, please let me know if you think that would be a smart move or if Tesla is really just um, trying to protect the uh, brand or the design here of the Cybertruck, which could be also a reason. But again, I do have the feeling that Tesla is moving forward and we do know that a lot of companies out there and um, including um, LG and Cattle they are building battery factories around the factory there and it's going to be a lot of batteries um, produced in China. So it could be fueling um, more production happening at Giga Shanghai. Looking at Tesla Energy as promised, we are here for the storage capacity um, in the next few decades in the United States. And of course, the capacity of uh, per gigawatt hour will substantially increase here because renewable energy is coming in, the wind energy, solar energy, etc., etc. So we do see here like the sensitivity scenario where we do see that the low battery cost case would um, bring us to a capacity per gigawatt hour or capacity in gigawatt hour to four. 100 gigawatt hours. So that would be the best case scenario. Uh, around 200 would be the average case. I don't think we will have an issue with high battery cost for a long time. So I think Tesla will have a lot of chances to tap into that market. And we do always talk about Tesla energy here. And I must honestly say this kind of graphs show again how important the business of energy is we will have to see how it is going in Q2. But I think by the end of this year, we see we might see a growth of 100% again. So um, let's see, maybe um, we will see some more energy products in Austin. Maybe they will do that as well. Because 
I don't know what's happening with Nevada here. Um, will they further increase or build more uh, at the factory side to really give um, this entire energy business demand here a chance in the United States? Or will they just let it go like the way it is right now? We do know that the Tesla Semi is in Nevada, but again, we have to see where Tesla is moving and the Tesla Semi will move at some point here to Austin. So this is great news. So one time the Cybertruck in China, I think that's really important and we have to see how this is um, going forward in the next few months if we get any more updates about that. And the energy business is just thriving and I think Tesla will get much more attention in a few years when it comes to the energy business because most people concentrate on the car business as you all know. Then we look into the plate plus is cancelled. No need as plate is just so good. So let that, let us just think uh, sink that in. So he's pretty much saying um, Elon thinks that the plate plus is just making no sense because the regular model S plate is already that good that we have no need for model pl uh, plate plus. So what I personally think here is one thing. First of all, we do have issues in the supply chain. There's a lot of issues to get a lot of material. And I think Tesla has always been um, really smart in reducing the possibilities. And in this case, I think they will concentrate on the Model S plate. And when this production line is working really, really well, they might think of adding the Model S plate plus again. Another sign that they canceled it, I think there might not be so many reservations for it. And of course, it is a really, really expensive car at that point. And yeah, I think Tesla really goes here smart in simplifying the production line, making it easier to just uh, make one version here. And then with the different color um, options, it is already complicated. So I think that is the most important part. We don't have any other more updates from the Model X actually, but we do have the event this um, week. So we have to see if we get any more updates on the Model S Plate Plus um, or if it's just going to be the tweet that he just talked about. So combining all this news, guys, I must honestly say there's so much exciting stuff happening and more exciting stuff actually here at Austin as well, because in Austin we saw uh, a lot of robots in the building and the main building that are already in trial uh, production. So um, don't take me too serious about the word production, but they are really um, in the move of doing something here, the robots. So I think maybe we do see the Model S much earlier. Let me know down below and thank you for your support. Thank you very much.